What's going on guys? It's your boy Sensei Chad at you guys with another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing y'all how to get the armories that you see in the background. Um, I have three of them right here. Also I will be showing you guys how to actually use them. Um, now it's quite easy but before you can do any of that or anything I'm going to be telling you, you do have to get a base. Um, and you do have to actually have access to your own base. You will be able to get a base at level 30. Um, there will be a mission in your journal that you have to do, and you collect a deed, and you just pretty much use it. And they'll pretty much the game pretty much walks you through how to use it. But once you do have a base, guys, you can come to the marketplace. And once you get to the marketplace, you can come down to base items. And if you press, if you go over. To over here where you see the deed and all that stuff you just scroll on past the layers and you'll see the armory okay now you can get the single armory or the four pack personally I just usually get one armory um, at a time I don't normally get more than one because I mean I'm, on, I'm only usually you know doing one of three things which is DPS in or Trolling or PvP, you know, I don't really do long range, single target, da da da. So I pretty much just do these three. So you know, I just keep three armies. Um, now I am going to be showing you guys another way to get an armory. You can also save up loyalty points from being a membership or a member, and they give you 500 loyalty points a month. And once you get them loyalty points, you can go into a um, police station, any police station. You can pretty much, you can literally just go to the watchtower and teleport to any police station and go to the vendor that's on the right before exiting out the front door of the police station and there will be um, an armory in there as well, as well, uh, as well as some other styles and, you know, auras and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. A little fun fact if you guys didn't know. Now, um... So actually how to use the armory guys. So as you guys can see I am in my DPS row. Okay, so I'm a 336 DPS. Um I do have all of my DPS gear. As you guys can see, my artifacts, I do have my artifacts. Um and yeah, so also my skill points is pretty much so I do have my DPS skill points. Everything like so everything all of this DPS um, setup is in this armory. So once you actually get the, so once you you know get the get your gear that you want and whatever, and you get one armory, what you can do, so you get one armory first, and then you get you know your say you want a PV, say you want a DPS, you you do like I, you do like I am doing now, have all your gear and um, all your DPS gear put on, and then you have your artifacts put on, and then your you know of course put your skill points in and stuff like that and then you will go up to your armory and you'll hold circle once you hold circle you click imprint and you click imprint all now what that'll do is that will take all of your gear that you're wearing currently and it will put it in that armory okay so once it puts it in that armory that is there that is permanent unless you change something and then go up to the armory again and imprint it which you don't need to do that that's saved now what you can now as you level up or whatever and get new or better gear all you have to do is put that on and go up to the armory that you want it to be in and you know imprint it so once you get the DPS down once you get it into your armory um, you can switch rows say I want to switch rows okay and let's say I want it to be a troll so I would literally just go to my loadout um, and I would just pretty much just throw on my you know my controlling roll loadout and I am throwing it together now anyway you get the point so you would pretty much just throw your controller loadout on and um, once you did so um, you would and then then you know of course you'd have to reset your skill points so you go to the watchtower, reset your skill points, you know, put the skill points how you want in your traits loadout, put the create artifacts that you want as well in here, 
And then once you get all once you get all of your controller stuff, um, which of course for me it'll be this. But once you get all of your controller um, stuff on and your skill points and stuff set, you'll go up to your armory again and you will hold circle as your controller. See, I do have my con see as you guys can see I do have my controlling gear on at the moment. So once you do have, you know, once you, you know, pretty much set all your skill points up, get your, you know, get all your controlling gear, get your artifacts, you go up to your, to, you go up to another armory, to a new armory, and you hold circle, and then you click imprint menu, and you will click imprint all. Okay. Now it's going to imprint your appearance, but you can change your. So once you change your appearance, say I wanted to look, I'll show you. I wanted to change the color of my bio right to let's say white okay uh, then I, from there I would just come over here go to imprint and just imprint appearance and it would change it white as you guys can see see so that's pretty much what it's based on so you know get all your DPS gear and then and artifacts put it into one armory and then you can get another armory Reset your skill points, redo, you know, get controlling gear, put that into another armory as the support row that you want to be. And then if you have another armory, it's the same thing for PvP gear, guys. Um, if you wanted a PvP, you know, all you have to do is get another armory and get all your PvP gear and do the same thing that I just said for these two which of course would be getting your pvp gear from the watchtower um so i wanted a pvp i would switch my if, if i wanted a pvp i'd get my pvp gear on like i would buy the pvp gear and you know pretty much just put it all on and then um put it in my armory now if you don't have if you're going to get a third armory soon um and you only have two but you want to get pvp gear go for it Go ahead, get your PvP gear, and once you get your PvP gear, you know, just put it in your bank. Okay, put it in your bank, save it there until you get another armory, and then just throw it all on. And then you can come to your base um, with the third armory in place, and you can go ahead and imprint that into your armory. So, you know, that's pretty much how you put your different roles into your armories. Now, if you're wondering how to actually place the armory once you get the armor, I should have mentioned this earlier, guys. I apologize, but once you, you know, once you do actually purchase the armory, you will come over here to this, and you will enter decoration mode. And once you do so, you will pretty much just click square on something, like that's on the floor anywhere on the circle or whatever. And you pretty much just find the armor, the armor. It'll be in here. You just find it, and you will um, go ahead and lay it down. I have so many, so many base items. Um, but yeah, you pretty much just lay it down, just like so. I don't have any extra armory, so my armories is technically in place already. So, um, with that being said, guys, I will be. Um, dropping another video probably tomorrow on how to actually obtain a base because I do have an all that doesn't have a um, that doesn't have a base yet I do not believe so I will be going ahead and dropping a video on that so I really hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure to hit that like button subscribe comment in the comment section I subscribed and I will try my best to Part your comment and or reply to your comment now with that being said guys i am writing down names for the 500 sub giveaway that i'm going to be doing i'm going to be picking three winners so if you guys want to enter that like i said just subscribe and comment and i will write your name down so with that being said guys i am going to go ahead and end this here but i hope you did enjoy and i will be posting again tomorrow guys peace